Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the newer Caltech P17 and 22 long rifle. They introduced this a couple years ago. I checked it out at SHOT Show. Caltech makes a habit of introducing a gun and not necessarily getting it out in a timely fashion. But this is out and available now. It's budget priced. MSRP $199. Good luck getting it for that price. It's currently selling on average between $300 and $350. At the recording of this video, that's what it's selling for. So even though it's budget priced, it's certainly not selling for that amount. But they did pack a bunch of innovation into this, so I want to get into it. I picked this up uh, locally. The guy never shot it. He said he had another one. And it comes with three 16-round mags. And he sold it with two. And I was okay with that because I got it for $250. And that is well below the going rate at this time. So here are two 16 round mags. Okay, you had one in the chamber. That's 17 rounds, hence the name P17. And we'll keep, we'll keep this loaded one out for the scale. But then it also comes with a wrench right here. And that will disassemble everything that you need including the the thread protector and it has a thread adapter right there in case the user wants to add a can which is definitely a nice touch i appreciate that a couple stickers trigger lock manual everything else in this hard case but i mentioned the features are rather unique and innovative one thing you may notice immediately i certainly did are all the bolts there are bolts all over this thing. Bolting this thing together, creating a very light handgun. Good or bad, I don't know. Some people say it's great, other people say it's not. I guess I'll find out very shortly. Taking it to the range this weekend. Does have a rail there. 16 round mags. Ambidextrous trigger guard magazine release right there. Most righties will use their right finger to drop it. Drops almost freely, not quite. A little better, actually. It was only coming out about a quarter of the way initially. The slide is right here. See the slide? Very unique design. Does have an ambidextrous thumb safety. That will lock up the trigger, but it will not lock up the slide. Sweep that down and fire away. Caltech, Caltech grip right there. All right, polymer, very lightweight, and it looks optic ready, but it's actually not. This is not to be removed and add a plate on there to add a red dot. It's it's not meant for that. This is a, a polymer plate that, that keeps all the internals together. Blacked out rear sights that are adjustable. You take a look at that. It looks a little bit off to the right. I was playing with it. All right, it has that screw right there for, for windage, has another there. Includes a wrench, you play around with that, get the sights exactly where you want it. And it has a fiber optic, a green fiber optic front sight. Very lightweight. The trigger is a single action trigger. They are stating it's a three pound trigger. My scale tells me three and a quarter. Not that great of a difference. Very lightweight and a reset right there with the 22 long rifle 17 rounds it also has a striker fire indicator right there it's red pull the trigger and that goes away not too helpful at night but daylight you can see if you have at least a slide charged not necessarily around the chamber but if the slide is charged i really like that thread adapter they put on there to run a can to disassemble it's really a, a unique design get in there there it is. It has these, these two uh, polymer pieces that stick out. It's easy to get that confused with the slide stop. But the disassemble is really interesting. It does have those levers right there. All you do is pull those down and take the back and lift it up and it comes right off. It has a 3.8 inch fixed barrel. That recoil spring is fixed, although it is removable. But it, but to clean the gun, you just take it down to that point right there. That's all you need to do. And then there is the thread protector. 
and I did take it off and put the adapter on there and all that works just fine. Then to put it back together, you simply put the, the slide on, bring it back to this point, and then just drop the or those takedown levers and, and drop the slide right back onto the frame. There it is. I want to get this on the scale because I think you'll be pretty amazed at how light it is. Okay, without the magazine, you're looking at 11 and 7 eighths ounces. Throw the mag on there, 12 and 3 quarters ounces. All right, extremely light. And then if we go with the 16 rounds of 22, won't be that great of a difference. 14 and 5 eighths ounces. So under 15 ounces loaded with 16 rounds. That's why I said it feels like a squirt gun because it is the fantastic, fantastic plastic and very lightweight polymer all throughout, by the way. Once again, this is not a slide. That's not going anywhere. The only handgun that I could really compare it to anywhere in its class is the LCP2 light rack. Now, this carries 10 rounds. That's innovative enough for the LCP to carry 10 rounds when it was released. We know what Ruger had done since, but it's it's a, feels like right around the same weight. Actually, let's go ahead and get this on the scale. It's loaded with 10 rounds. Get out of here, nine millimeters. This is a 22 video. All right, so it's loaded weight, uh, just about 12 ounces, 11 and seven eighths. It's loaded weight here. 14 and a half so it, although it feels you know we're talking a very slight difference but there it is Caltech P17 interesting design easy disassemble it does come with a thread protector MSRP 199 don't expect that at this point in time but it is feature loaded with a very nice single action trigger and I'm going to get this to the range this weekend to check it out. I hope you guys tune in to see this gun in action. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be